Hey everyone, in this video we're checking out a stunning float home that's set up on the shore of a small lake. It's fully off-grid and it's designed to be used in all four seasons, even in the winter. The interior is surprisingly spacious with comfortable areas to eat, sleep and relax. And one of the coolest features is the full-size garage door that opens up so it feels like you're on a boat or on a dock while you're in the living room. We're excited to show you this awesome space, so let's go take a look inside. The float home is 12 feet wide by 35 feet long, and it's tied to shore with metal cables at all four corners. The platform is installed on a set of PVC floats with foam inside, and that's what keeps the home floating. When winter comes, the floats can freeze in the ice so that it can be used year round. The float home is not connected to the grid, so for power there's two 250 watt solar panels charging six batteries, and that provides all the electricity. The outside has a minimalist contemporary design with cedar siding and black metal accents, which contrast nicely with the wild surroundings. This place is called Bora Boreal and there's two float homes here on a small lake just north of Quebec City in Canada and it's surrounded by a beautiful forest and majestic mountains all around. You can access the float home from shore by walking across this small suspended bridge which leads to a covered deck area where you can barbecue all year round and stay dry when you're coming in and out of the space. When you first walk in through the patio doors, you enter the living room area and here there's plenty of comfortable seating. These sofas are modular, so they can easily be moved around to create different seating arrangements and they can also be pushed together to make a queen size bed for guests. Close to the entrance, there's the wood stove which keeps the place nice and toasty in cold weather. And next to it, there's a small storage rack for some firewood and there's also a large storage area on shore for more firewood. The float home also has a secondary heating system that's powered by propane and this would be nice if you're away for a while to maintain a minimum temperature in the space. The floor is insulated with foam panels and the walls are insulated with fiberglass. I really like that in the living room there's extra large floor to ceiling glass on both sides. This completely opens up the space and makes it feel enormous even though it's not that wide. And being able to see water almost level with the floor emphasizes the fact that you're floating on the water. The patio doors and the large garage doors can be opened and they're fully screened in to keep the bugs out. When the weather allows it, this is a great way to let in tons of fresh air and also let in the sights and sounds of nature. Having so many windows is great, but one thing that's missing is curtains for privacy and sleeping. At the other end of the home are the kitchen, dining area, bathroom, and the hidden loft bedroom. The kitchen has a small sink and a decent amount of counter space to prepare food. There's also a butane cooktop and a good amount of storage all around for pots, pans, dishes, and food. There's also a bar fridge underneath the counter, which is powered by solar. To keep the water system as simple as possible, since this is a vacation rental, they use five gallon jugs to bring in fresh water, and there are reservoirs to collect gray water that's later emptied into a septic tank on the property. Nothing is dumped overboard. So this kitchen is pretty compact, but it's quite functional for preparing simple meals. Across from the kitchen is the dining area with a table, chairs, and a large L-shaped bench, so there's plenty of space here to eat and to have guests over. There's also some more storage above in these high gloss black cabinets, and it's nice that this area also has windows on all sides to let in the light and also soak in the view from the dining area. The ceiling above the dining area, which is also the floor of the loft bedroom, is made with a metal grill that lets the light through. This helps make the dining and kitchen area feel a bit brighter and more open. The lighting above the table adds a colorful, eclectic touch to the room, which otherwise has a pretty minimalistic design. And at the other end, close to the entrance, are a couple more lights in the same style to tie everything together. 
The bathroom is through the sliding door here at the end of the float home. Inside, there's a separate urine diverting toilet that's continuously vented to the outside with a small fan, and there's also a large operable window in here for extra ventilation. The only thing missing is a shower, but since the float home is located on a remote spot and water management here is a challenge, the showers are in a separate building. The hidden loft bedroom can be accessed with this attic ladder that you pull down from the ceiling. The ladder has a solid heavy duty metal construction and so it feels very safe going up and down from the loft. And it's also quick and easy to fold in and out which is nice. Having to use a folding ladder to access the loft definitely adds an extra step, but the advantage is that when the bedroom is not being used, the ladder can completely disappear into the ceiling and this creates a nice, unobstructed, open concept living space. When you get up into the bedroom, you can see it's a pretty simple setup with a queen size bed and a small night table. You can't stand up in this loft, but the ceiling is on an angle which gives you a bit of extra headroom when you're using the ladder. The angled windows that follow the roof line are a nice touch and at the foot of the bed there's also two big operable windows for airflow. It's a relatively small loft, but you don't feel cramped up here and the view is fantastic. A huge benefit to having the float home so close to shore is that it gives easy access to extra outdoor living space on land. Here, there's a screened in tent with a picnic table and another sitting area with a custom welded fire pit. And from here you have a great view of the mountain behind. There's also some beautiful walking trails here on the property and a small beach and swimming area close by. And in the winter they even make a skating rink right next to the float home which sounds super fun. This whole setup with the beautiful float homes in such a serene spot is pretty unique. It's a great place to just relax and unwind, to have an adventure, or even just to get a feel for what it's like to spend time on a float home and in the woods to see if you like it. Bora Boreal is a small eco-resort just outside of Quebec City and there's two of these float homes at this location. So you can follow them and find out more on Instagram and Facebook. Please share this video if you liked it and check out our playlists for more videos like this. Thanks for watching.